I have been drawing every day for the past 100 days, and while I haven't become a drawing god like PewDiePie, I think my stuff has gotten a lot better. 100 days ago, I had no idea that I would be learning animation, learning how to take commissions, and drawing digitally, and making things that I'm actually proud of. So, let's get into it. So first off, I do want to say, if you watched the PewDiePie drawing video, and you maybe feel like you're not a drawing god like he is, PewDiePie was only drawing one type of thing. He focused on one thing, and that's how he was able to get so good at it in such a short time. He was just drawing heads and the upper body. That's all he was doing, like portraits. And that's what I decided to start with, too. So back when I first started, I was just drawing with a sketchbook in my house, um, you know, just drawing analog. And I would just go on Pinterest, find whatever cool pic I could get, and uh, just start hammering away at it. And it was awesome. It was so relaxing, you know? There was no distractions. It was my time. I was like, oh, baby. It was great. For so long, I felt kind of lost in life and I was just constantly searching for my thing and just trying a million different things to see what would work and like you know trying to follow money I thought you know maybe I could be a money guy it turns out I'm not a money guy I need something deeper to sustain me deeper and I was trying all of these different things and none of them stuck you know I would always give up because it was not fun or it was too hard or I just got bored right and then I I realized that my thing was really just in front of me. It had been the thing that I had done ever since I was a kid, and that was drawing. When I was a kid, I remember coming home from watching Iron Man in 2008, and I just thought Iron Man was so cool, bro. That was like the first of the gajillion Marvel movies that came out since then, and I wanted to draw him. And I think about it now, and I'm like, what, why was I drawn to drawing him? I don't know, I didn't want to do anything else related to Iron Man, like watch it again or something, but I wanted to draw him. I kind of wanted to pay homage to this cool character that my 13-year-old booger brain self had just found. And it's like, I drew all the time in school. I would draw like different guns for different shows or like uh, different video games, different animes, like Naruto and stuff. It was great and I never got bored of it. You know, you get tired after a while, but you don't get bored, at least for me, of drawing. Bored. There's too much cool stuff to do. I drew all the time in school. I would draw cool guns for video games, like a freeze ray for Fallout, or like a, an assassin for Assassin's Creed. I drew like an Egyptian version before they made an Egyptian game. And it was so nice, dude, just me and the pencil. I made so many dumb little doodles over my life. It was great, it was awesome. So if you're looking for your thing, maybe just look at what's already spoken to you and try to have the balls to follow through on it, you know, to stick with it. Because like, you know, I could just spend the rest of my life spinning my wheels trying other dumb bullshit or just playing video games in my room all day. But I was like, I choose this. This is, this is gonna be my thing. I'm gonna follow this till the end and it's gonna be great, you know? Like it's gonna be tough, but it's also gonna be fantastic. So after a while of just drawing heads and drawing girls from Pinterest and you know, other stuff, maybe some doodles here and there, I decided to get an iPad because I knew that I eventually wanted to move to digital art because that's where all art goes really for careers and stuff and making money and posting online and you know all that jazz so I was like fuck it I'll get an iPad. Dude digital art is a whole other beast. There is so much shit that you have to do with digital art man. There's so much stuff and there's like layers. There's uh fucking different layer blend modes, opacities, different brushes, half tones, like the, the effects and everything, all the different layers, painting, drawing, perspective, form, like all of this shit comes together and it's incredibly powerful. It's an incredibly powerful tool to like create what you want to make, but it's a lot to learn. There's, there's a ton of different things to learn with digital art, right? Especially depending on whatever program you're using and all that stuff. So I just 
dove into it. Every fucking day, I watch art videos of whatever new techniques I wanna learn, or like, if someone's figuring out how to do something in a different way than I am, I wanna learn from them and see if it works for me, you know? So I just started to chip away at it, you know, just doing little doodles, trying the different brushes on Procreate, watching tons of art videos to try and learn how in God's name to make something half as cool as other people would make. Every day I would work on something. I decided to sleep, eat, and breathe art. That is all that I am. That's, that's, that's it, you know? This is me. I told myself that I'm an artist, and so I became one, you know? And then I decided to get into animation. Animation is a whole, like, I knew how big animation was, but once you learn what you have to do, it's really just tedious and you're constantly trying to find ways to speed it up, you know? How can I reuse this drawing or like, you know, not have to change it too much? What cool effects can I use to cover up a cut? You know, something like that. But animation and art really, it's, it's a way to create, of course, but I was like, I've always wanted to create worlds. And when I say world, I mean like my own fictional universe that people like and is really cool and interesting and unique and fun. And I realized that that art and animation are the way to do it, you know? Like, you can make a million things just from the tip of your pencil, man. Like, it's crazy, just like you can make a baby from the tip of your dick, you know? I have always had a million different ideas for funny video or just like a funny idea that I didn't know how to execute on. Something that would be like, you know, like you need a lot of actors for it or like animals or whatever it is. But it's like, bro, you can just draw it. You can just draw this shit and it's way cheaper and way easier than having to like hire people or like build a movie set, you know what I mean? You can make the characters exactly how you want them to be. Ooh, baby, you don't have to like direct somebody. Mm, you just stay in your room all day, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm also working on animation now. That's kind of like in my spare time kind of thing. I have a lot of other shit that I'm working on right now, but uh, so stay tuned for that. I think those will be really cool. And then I decided to take art classes one of the main thing that I was missing in my art journey, my art experience, was feedback. I wanted someone who had experience with art, like a, you know, an actual teacher, right? They could tell me stuff on the spot and tell me new techniques, new ideas, what I needed to work on, you know, stuff like that. And I'm currently in Spain and I found this really nice art school that's like a 15 minute walk from my place. And it's really great. And the teacher's super nice, super smart. And everybody there is really cool. I can study my Spanish as well. Like I'm learning Spanish from her too, so that's nice. And she's really talented and she's really good at what she does. And, you know, we get along well. So it's been going great and I'm loving it. I go like all the time. So that's been great. In just the first week, my art skills went way up. Like this is something that, that I created in my first week of art school. And it's just on a different level than anything else I've made, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but digital art entails something called rendering. And that's basically adding light and shadow and form to your drawing to make it look 3D or, you know, like the finishing touches, right? I have no clue how to do color. I don't know how to do shadow. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I would just draw with a pencil in like a mechanical pencil in like sixth grade, bro. That was my only experience. I did a few like painting classes at the library, but it wasn't like painting, painting, you know? They would like tell you how to make a flower, but not like in-depth techniques and stuff. So that's also what our class is great for because she's a painter. I, my teacher's a painter. So of course she would know more about form and light and shadow. And so it's like me learning painting from her, this is one of my paintings, made me way better at my digital art too. And like learning color, color harmony, you know? How do colors look in different lighting? Like shadows, all that jazz. It's all connected, man. It's all connected, man. Just thinking of like where I was at the beginning and like going all the way now to like animation, bro, I, I wouldn't have imagined that when I first started. And all of these things have just been inside of me this whole time. I made this. I'm creating this world for myself. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. If you're on the fence about um, getting into art, just do it. 
just take the jump, just commit to something. Like, it's so worth it. Enjoy the process, work every day, be patient, be kind to yourself, and have fun. So, all right, that's all I got. Uh, see you next time.